Before I get into this video that I created for, based on KA's question about this burning in the chest area, she said it's like her chest is on fire and she feels feelings of anger and sadness there. I wanted to really um, stress that this is such an opportunity, KA. This is really a sign that your heart is opening. And sometimes when our heart is opening, all the things that we're keeping it shut, all the programs, all the anger that we've repressed and suppressed um, our whole life, um, a lot of the sadness that we felt maybe as a child or even in past lives, that stuff comes up and it comes up in a really intense way. The heart opening is one of the most intense chakra openings that you'll experience, but it's also one of the most powerfully transformative um, openings you'll experience. So my the real essence of this video is to really be with the feelings, be with the burning sensation as, and just be in that burning and let it just feel like it's gonna burn you up. Um, and that's why it's so important to be in the feeling center because the mind will tell you that this burning sensation is too strong, it's too powerful, it's not a good thing. It, it'll tell you that you, you shouldn't feel this anymore, that it's bad to be feeling. But that's not true, that's just the imagination. The essence of what I wanna tell you, KA, is that when these burning sensations arise, fall into it, surrender into it, allow yourself to open to this burning as much as possible and stay with it and stay with it. And what's happening is your karma is literally burning up in your heart center. All of that sadness, all of that anger that you might have repressed and suppressed your whole life, maybe even unconsciously, all of that's getting burned up as your heart starts opening. And as it starts opening more and more, it, it'll start even burning more and more intensely. But at a certain point, as you stay with it, as you open to this burning sensation, what you'll feel is so much love come, come forth. So much love just starts, just starts really pulsating through your body. And, and this, this love that you feel, it, it has such a healing effect on every cell in your body. It, it literally can change your DNA. It can change, um, it can change just everything about you. It can change everything about your reality. This is the movement of spiritual awakening. It's, it's truly living through the heart. But to do that, we must, we must have the inner courage to feel that which is keeping the heart closed, to feel those programmings, to feel that conditioning and that karma. And, and, and that can be really challenging. Um, I go through this all the time myself. I feel sometimes when I do a heart-centered meditation, I feel so much burning in my heart that the mind gets the best of me sometimes and it says, you, you gotta stop this now, it's too much and, and I'll, I'll stop. But it's the times when I, when I just stay with the burning and I just open to it and maybe tears come forth. Maybe we start shaking a little bit because there's so much tension being released. There's so much trauma being released. It's the times that I stay with it that I can feel that my heart just starts opening and I can literally feel chemicals of like euphoria, chemicals of like peace um, start circulating through my body and, and it has such a beautiful transformative and healing effect um, in a very physical way. So that's what I really wanted to, to say to you, KA, is that, is that these, this is a huge opportunity that this pain is coming forth in your heart because it's, it's here to liberate you. Like Rumi said, the cure to the pain is the pain. And what he, what he meant and what I feel he meant is this pain is, is just aspects that you, of yourself that you, you um, maybe shunned in the past or didn't have the awareness to love in the past and, and didn't have the consciousness to allow yourself to feel, right? So, so this pain is coming up to liberate you, to show you like, hey, I'm here. I, I, I just want to know I'm the light. I just want to know that I'm love. And as you sit with this burning anger and this burning sadness, what it does automatically, if we stay rooted in the feeling center and we don't believe the mind about it, what it does automatically is it transmutes. It integrates into the light. It integrates into wholeness. And, and that's the gift in the pain, is the pain is coming forth to, to really to liberate you from always um, living out the pain. You know, Because if we don't integrate the pain, it's just gonna project out into our reality over and over again. And that's kind of what karma is, doing the same cycle over and over again. But if we can bring a conscious presence to the pain, and if we can allow it to come up, and if we can just allow ourselves to feel it without getting lost to the imagination and what it's saying about it, 
if we can just root ourselves into our feeling center and literally let it just burn up, that's when new consciousness comes in. That's when new awareness will, will start coming into our life. That's when a new perceptions, that's when our heart will open even wider and, and we're going to be able to live a more heart-centered life. That's when we'll have, you know, our cup will overflow it and we'll have more love to share and to give to others. We will literally start feeling the power that we have the ability to give and share love. And it will be less about extracting and life just becomes more about giving. And that is the, that is like the, the treasure, you know, anytime we feel strong emotion in the heart center, strong pain, strong burning feelings, that's a treasure for the soul. That, that's where, that's where the, the, like all the gifts are right there. So it, it's important we go into it, but it's hard to go into that treasure. It's hard to go into that intense feeling if we're not rooted in the feeling center, if we don't bring our consciousness, consciousness into the heart. Because the mind is going to tell us a whole variety of things about why strong emotions are bad and why they need to be avoided. Because it's essential that you know that the mind is just a survival machine. It's just interested in safety and comfort. So that's, that's the movement, KA. This is a beautiful process. You're at a very um, you know, defining part of the awakening process. When the heart starts opening, it, it can really... It can really shift your whole awakening experience. I know that was the case for me when my heart started opening. And, and that's the movement. It, you just keep opening it and opening it. And, and what I found is one layer will come, comes up at a time. So you let that burning come up. It comes up. Your heart might be pounding. You're, you might even have a splitting headache because it, so, it burns so much. But then it starts transforming into this, just like this delicious feeling, peace, peace and love and joy. And all of a sudden you feel lighter and you feel like you cleared something and you feel more expansive and you feel like you can give your gifts at a, at a higher level than ever. You know, you, you're tapping into your real spiritual potential, your real human potential. And then all of a sudden life sends you a certain person or a certain circumstance or a, a certain event and boom, another layer is triggered. And, and now we go into that same movement. We let that layer up. We let it alchemize. We root into our feeling center. We have the courage to feel it and then it, it alchemizes and it integrates into wholeness. And then it happens again. It's kind of like a video game. You get to one, you know, you let the burning come up. You might have to sit with the burning for weeks at a time. I know I've had to do this for some of them. They've been so powerful. And then all of a sudden, you know, it comes up. You, you've given it enough compassion and acceptance and love. And, and, and you've reached this new peak. All of a sudden you have so much more to give. Your heart is so much more open and you feel amazing. And then boom, you go back into another layer and, and you're going up another level and you're clearing another, you know, it's like the kind of like a video game, like I was saying, and you just keep going up the levels. But what I found, the deeper we go into this process, the more levels we go up, the more layers we clear from the heart, the more of that trauma, that pain, that burning that we clear, the, the more it just goes on autopilot. And the more you come into a place of just total allowing and you just allow anything to arise and, and you have so much less resistance in you to, to it all. And when we, when we get into this place of, of just total allowing and, we, and it feels like it kind of has a life of its own, that's when it starts feeling like the, the, that the divine is chasing you. But to get to this place where it just starts taking on a life of its own, where, where when pain surfaces, we just automatically open to it. We don't resist it. We know the process. We, we know where it's taking us. We're actually very thankful for the pain because we know it's just liberating us. And we're thankful for the pain because we know it's giving us a chance to love an aspect of ourselves that we previously didn't have the awareness to love. So we see the we see the beautiful gifts that the pain is bringing. We see that the, the treasure of the intense feelings and we're appreciative of that, of those feelings. Um, that is when, you know, we truly can see clearly like this process from a more witness perspective. And that's when this process just starts moving on its own because we've kind of like gotten out of our own way, you know, 
which also means we let go of identification with thinking and, and thought about this because that the mind is going to tell us, like I said, these emotions are too much. This burning is too intense. I can't handle this. Get me out of here. That's what the mind's going to tell you. But if you'll just soothe the mind and say, I know that this is hard for you, mind. I literally talk to your mind. This is like from Matt Kahn. He talks about how if we talk really nicely to our mind and, we're, and we tell our mind no in a very loving and soothing way, that the mind will literally collapse <laughs> and disintegrate. Um, and that's a beautiful movement. Just tell the mind, I know that this is hard. I know that this is something that is new for you and that this feels overwhelming. But I love you too much, mind, to leave this meditation. I love you too much to not feel this burning sadness and anger. Sometimes we have to say no to our mind because we love it that much, right? If we always said yes to our mind and what it wanted, we would just be replaying a karmic cycle over and over and over again, which is fine for the mind. The mind doesn't care. It would, it's happily, would happily do that because the mind likes the known. The mind is just, like I said, a safety machine. It just wants security. It just wants to know. Even if it's a really shitty story that you have to keep, or like a really shitty karmic cycle, it's all the same to the mind. At least it knows, right? The mind fears the unknown. The heart and the soul came here for the unknown. That's why when we're going into the unknown and we're feeling these burning feelings like we never had before, it's important to be in the feeling center. Because that's where you're going to feel that support from, from source, from your higher self. That's where you're going to feel that connection is in your feeling center. And the mind is going to try to take you from that because it's scary for the mind. It just is. But it gets less scary. Every layer we let up, it gets less scary. Every time you show the mind that it's okay by feeling into the burning and then you just feel it transform into wholeness, into love, into peace the mind starts to have a realization, a comprehension of what the process is. And then that's why I say it gets easier because now the mind, my mind doesn't really fight as much, not nearly as much because it gets it now. It, it knows the transmutation process. It knows the alchemization process. It literally knows the gifts that the fear, that the anger, that the neediness, that the feelings of lack, that the feelings of Whatever the pain is for you, it, it knows the gifts that it's bringing. It knows the process now. And so that's what I encourage you to do, K.A., is to really harness this amazing opportunity. Your heart is opening. This is amazing. This, is, this can change your life. So just be with the burning. Um, even when it feels impossible, that's when it's burning the hardest and the most intensely, where, where it feels like it's just searing anger, searing sadness, um, that is when we are actually changing the most. That is when something new is emerging um, like more intensely. That is when if you can do this, if you can stay with this burning, you will get to the point where at some days you'll look in the mirror and you won't even recognize yourself because so much more of your essence has come forth through the burning and you've allowed it, you've accepted it, you've given it the space and you've given it the light of awareness to show it that it is God, that it is the light, that it is love. And when you do that, you allow so much more love to be embodied in your being. You know, your eyes will start to show up more. Um, just your whole essence starts pouring forth through your heart. And, and what this means also is that more of your unresolved trauma, more of your unconsciousness, more of your... Um, more of your pain gets to come up. But you also, through this, develop the tools to allow it to come up, to allow it to alchemize, and then it just becomes this beautiful process. And like I was saying, you just keep leveling up, leveling up, leveling up, and the process starts deepening within you, and it just becomes a beautiful movement towards reaching your soul's highest potential in this lifetime of embodying the most amount of love, the most amount of peace, and the most amount of joy so that you can be a a divine instrument, a divine vessel to share your gifts through your heart with the world, to live authentically and fearlessly and, and, and to have a very satisfying and enriching experience in this lifetime. But that requires having the inner courage to feel those intense feelings, to feel that burning. I know that you can do this. I know that this is coming forth for you for your benefit, that something new is emerging in you that you have never been before. 
And that's so exciting. I'm really excited for you. And keep me updated on how this goes. And I hope that this video was helpful for everybody else. Um, I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Namaste.